Greetings everyone, another tutorial by IT Interface. Today is the follow-up video to the Borland 5.5 compiler. This is a little tutorial on how to use that in compiling some of your C++ code. I have some here. Um, a suggestion for those who are starting, go ahead and take your header, which is this here, number include, greater than IO stream, lesser than, using namespace standard semicolon int main parentheses open and close with the bracket and then save this you can name it first template as I have or just template whatever you want to name it but this is what you'll use as your base root so you won't have to type this over and over and over you'll be doing a lot of practicing um, with notepad plus plus you can have multiple tabs and multiple projects open with notepad you can only have one project at a time so by your discretion choose which source editor you want to use but now that I have set this up let's go ahead what we've basically done is taken declared X and Y and given it a value of 1 um, right now I'm going to leave this semicolon out and save it um, remember that this is a CPP file so what we need to do is save it as into our source file, our SC file that we made, we need to save it as a CP file, CPP. So go ahead and add that extension. I did that just to show you what to do. Now when you open up your prompt command, in your prompt command you're going to want to navigate back to the C root and then change to your Borland file. and after that go ahead and go into your BCC 55 file change to it and then we're going to change into our SC file that we made now that we're in here and we've saved this as a CPP file we're going to compile it and the way you compile it is with the instructions using the user's manual this is the long command line you would have to use so doing what we did all we have to do is type in the command bcc32 and the file we made and the extension of course and hit enter now notice here that it showed me an error the reason why is because you left something out we left this out on purpose just to show you what it can do I'm gonna go ahead and save this with the correct everything correct and let's go ahead and recompile it and it compiled and then all you have to do is type in your executable that you just made and hit enter the answer is 2 what you've done is you've declared x and y equal to the value of 1 ask them to add simple addition and produce an answer so we'll change this to 5 set the values to 5 and then save it recompile it now I want to show you something if you use your scroll key up and down look what it does it finds your actual commands that you had that's a little tidbit if you're working with one file over and over and over and over I've recompiled it everything's been compiled let's run the executable answers 10 now I don't claim to be a C++ developer or writer by any means that's why I'm suggesting that you go to this website they have free tutorials video tutorials right here for console C++ the whole nine pull references from anywhere you can to become a writer continuity is here have a good day.